It is actually insane how similar our lives are as young men. We got the question in the community and it was along the lines of, I've been friends with these guys since middle school. We've been through hell together. We've been through heartbreaks together. We've won together. We've had the best moments of our lives and the worst together as a friend group. And I met up with these people in middle school, but it's gotten to a point now where interests no longer align. Unlike people my age, I don't like to drink. I don't like to smoke. I don't like to party anymore. And I'm trying to grow, but having these people in my life that don't see it the same way that I do makes it difficult. Should I cut them off? Should I stay with them, keep them a part of my life? What do I do? And it's a great question. I feel like so many people in life, dude, are right there. I feel like everyone's been there. And I think the answer is somewhere in the middle. So I don't agree with the whole ideology that you should just cut everyone off in your life. Just, just go ghost, go rogue. Unless these people are cancers, unless they're super negative, just detrimental, like have these terrible, terrible, terrible addictions. It could even be an addiction to negative thoughts and that rubs off on you. If that's true, yes, I think you should cut them off. I usually don't think it's the case. Here's, here's the reality. Every relationship you have in your life is based off a center. There's something that, that defines the relationship. And here's what I mean by that. In college, I had a lot of drinking buddies, right? The center of our friendship, of our relationship was drinking. So if you remove the center, guess what happens? The friends disappear. Some of my best friends growing up, the center was school. We were literally like best freaking friends, dude, brothers for 10 years. And then school went away and we're not as close. We're, we're still family. You know, these people are still gonna come to my wedding. It's just when the center's removed, a lot changes. So if the center in your life, it's not drinking, it's not, you know, going out, it's not partying, it's not smoking. If you remove that center, these friends are just going to naturally kind of create space. I don't think you need to never talk to them. Nothing like that. I still talk to my friends back home. Every once in a while, we still reach out, we reconnect. And I think that's important because they're great people. It's just our interests are different. So what happens is, is you don't necessarily delete, but you instead replace. Because me personally... When I was shifting into, you know, a different season in my life, when I moved out of my hometown to Los Angeles, out in California, I met a new group of people. Pretty much all of us dropped out of college. We wanted to get an entrepreneurship and we wanted to make money. We wanted to, we wanted to get great at sales, live the lifestyle that we've always wanted. And I was around these people who were pursuing that. You know, I still have the people back home, but I think the, the crucial point is, you know, you should be seeking people that see it the same way that you do. And, it, and it's tough to because, you know, they might not be like you might be from a small town. You might be from this spot where there's really no entrepreneurs. There's no one memorable that comes from your place. And it sucks. You're like, dude, who the hell do I talk to? That's why communities are super important. Like being a part of the right community, having the right people. And another thing too is social media. Like reach out to people who see it the same way that you do. Plain and simple. Like that's how I landed my first gig in sales. I saw this dude who was crushing it. I reached out. I said, yo man, it looks like you're absolutely crushing it. What do you do? And then I got connected with him. And that's how I found literally all the friends, all like my best friends that I have today was just through, you know, reaching out, replacing rather than deleting. So to answer the question, just in, in simple, simple terms, you don't need to absolutely just cut the relationship off with these people, but you do need to get people who see it the same way that you do in your life. That's an overarching fact, because these people are going to, those habits are going to rub off on you, plain and simple. Like if you're around people who are drinking, smoking, partying, good luck trying to quit. You're going to be relying on willpower. And I know for a fact, you've been there, dude. You've tried to quit. You try to quit smoking, drinking, clubbing, whatever it is. And, and then your boys go out. 
and they ask you. And eventually you get caught in a moment of weakness. You're like, you know what? I'll go. And you go out. And you don't even want to. But it's it's the power of that environment. So you're in that season where you just haven't found the new people yet. It's literally why I made the community the way I did. Because I've been there in my life, dude. I grew up in a small town. Very small town. I, I didn't have people in my life that really saw it the same way that I did. I had people that I loved but our interests were different and I, I couldn't find those people. So I got on social media, I started reaching out to people who were crushing it, who I wanted to be like. And that's the best, the best advice I can give you is, you know, get close to these people who you see crushing it. You might even have to, like I, I bought people's courses, dude, who were crushing it just because that's, that's sometimes the barrier of entry to access. Sometimes you have to pay for it and that's just the way the world works. So, you know, just to summarize this, don't cut them off completely unless they're just detrimental to your dreams and your habits. If it's terrible, dude, like these people are so caught up in just being negative, they're, they're just not worth your time. Then I think it's worth cutting off. If they're good people at their heart, but your just ambitions are different, I think you just create space. You just don't hang out with them as often and you work on you. And you're in that season of temporary loneliness to find the people who really see it the way you do. And I think that helps out real uh, a lot. And, you know, defining that center, realize that center, bro, will always be apparent. You know, I've had it in my life where the center is a business model. And when the business model changes, those friends disappear. I've had that too. You know, I'm fortunate enough to have uh, a few really great friends in my life. And that's really all you need, bro. You don't need 50 people in your life. You don't. You really, you, you need like two or three. Maybe a little more. That That's, you just need a couple brothers. That's it. And it takes time, but as you're pursuing this dream, bro, just running after your shit, and you look to the left, you see a dude who's running as hard as you. And then you buddy up, you partner up with him. So to help out with that, it's exactly why I have the community. It's gonna be uh, linked down in the description. And uh, I hope this helps you out. And the biggest takeaway I want to tell you, dude, everyone who's ever done something great is in that exact same spot at one point in time. So it means you're on the right road. So Instagram is going to be down below too. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.